Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are ready with our next course which is Advanced ABAP CDS with SAP Fiori Elements. This is one course for which we received numerous requests and participants wanted it during the working days. And here we are. We will have this course Monday to Friday at 7.30 am IST. It will be one hour class each day with a total of 20 hours. If you are in Western Asia, Europe or Africa, please do not enroll in this course as it will be midnight or too early morning your local time. Participants from Indian subcontinents, Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America can enroll as this time will suit them. We already have traditional SAP UI5 and Fiori. Then why do we need CDS with Fiori elements? The answer is simple. The development time for Fiori apps from CDS is almost one tenth than the traditional SAP UI5 app development, if not less. The Fiori applications developed using CDS are faster. Yes, they are quite faster. In traditional SAP UI5 app, we need to maintain code and logic in XML view, controller, fragments, formatters, i18n, and many other files. Apart from that, we also have logic in backend OData gateway. There are lots of design principles and guidelines which the developers have to understand, follow, design and apply. But in Fiori elements from SAP CDS, everything is driven through annotations. SAP takes care of all optimizations and design principles. So by default, our application is better. Does it mean we do not need traditional SAP UI5 anymore? And the answer is no. Traditional SAP UI5 has its own uses while CDS based SAP Fiori elements have their own advantages and we believe both can coexist together for quite some time. With S4 HANA, this is the new programming model for SAP Fiori and SAP has developed and de delivered numerous Fiori apps using this new design programming model. So if we want to catch up with SAP, we need to make ourselves comfortable with this new way of app development from CDS views. So what is the agenda for this course? We will introduce the participants to CDS concepts, benefits, joins, associations, etc. Then we will focus on creating three complex real-time Fiori elements each week. They are list reports, analytical page with charts and graphs, and then overview page with charts and graphs. We will cover all latest features and updates provided by SAP. You will not find many blogs and articles on these exercises. Another important feature which we will cover is cross app navigation with data. Yes, you heard it right. From one application, we can call another application, pass data and display only those informations which were passed. Cross-app application is one topic which not many teach in any training. Hopefully, we are the first one to put it in our training course. We are positive, you will simply love the final applications which you will generate as part of this training. Before we end the course, we will learn how to deploy each Fiori elements which we created to Fiori Launchpad. Our S4 HANA server is open in internet. and. Trust us, you will be amazed to see your application running in your mobile device. Yes, you can deploy and see them in actions in your laptop, tablet or mobile devices. Throughout the course, you will hear about OData, annotations and annotation files, data points, tolerances, uh, deviations, cards, KPI modelers, charts, graphs, visual filters, etc. So these are very important jargons and we will make you comfortable with each topic one by one. At the end of this video, we have provided a glimpse of the app we developed as part of our previous training provided to a corporate client on the same topic. So you may want to see that app. Also please check the demo video in the description section below to see the trainer's approach and what we cover during the training. The same trainer will take this course as well. Let us now look into some important dates and times. This time our window is very short. You need to act fast. The registration ends on 5th June 2020. 
The registration link is in the description section of this video. You need to enroll and pay the fee by 9th of June 2020. We will send the SAP GUI, JDK, Eclipse, Cloud Platform, Web ID, Cloud Connector installation guides to all our enrolled participants so that they can get ready with the software needed for this training. The class will start on 15th of June, which is a Monday at 7.30 a.m. IST. It will be one hour class each day, Monday to Friday. We will wrap the course on July 10th, which is a Friday. The total duration of this course is 20 hours. If you miss any class, do not worry. We will provide recordings after each class and you have lifetime access to these recordings. We will provide you S4 HANA 1809 server access for practice, which you can use till 31st July 2020. This is included in your training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or whatsapp us at plus one six four six seven two seven nine two seven three if you have any queries. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Looking forward to see you live on the training day. If you want to take a glimpse of the app we can develop using CDS, please continue watching this video. Let us log into the Fury application. We need to go to our group which is at the bottom, I know, the analytical sales search. So in this group we have some tiles, so we'll look into this sales order list report, we'll look into this sales order analytic report and the overview page. So first let's look into this simple list report. This app is created using serious annotations and without a single line of XML or JavaScript coding. So if I hit here go, then I'll see the results over here. And if you see here, you have the navigation as well. Let us go back to our group and we will try to hit the analytical report. Here we have some charts. If you see on the top, there are some charts. And if I hit go, you will get the details of the charts. I can change the chart type. Um, we can also change with no charts. So this, these are very responsive by default. And if we open it in our mobile device, they will auto adjust and not a single line of code will be or single line of output will be truncated. And just like the list report, we also have the navigations in this report as well so there is no data for this line but uh, if we have data you will it will get displayed in this section so the cool feature of this is the graphs so i really like the way we can play around with the graphs and these are all standards so we did not make it and this is one advantage which uh, we will not find in traditional sap ui5 applications we need to do lots of things to put a graph there but here by default we get the graphs and charts and we can play around with the graphs so if if you want to change the um, the bar graph to a pie chart so if you just select it it gets changed by default so that's the beauty of fury elements uh, which uses all the standard features we just need to use the right ui annotations and cards and the graphs and the charts so let us go to the overview page now. This is the overview page. Uh, here we have applied the cross app navigation. So this is nothing but uh, jumping from one app to another and also passing the data from source to the target app. For example, uh, we choose this plant as filter and in the target list filter only 4B plant data is reported. So, so, so if I click here and then this is the apps where I can jump in. So we have configured it in such a way that from overview page, we can go to this many reports. So I'll choose the list report and then you will see that the heading will change. Right now we are in the overview. Now it changed to list report. And in the list report, we will see data only for 4B plans. If you scroll down, there is nothing else. So that's the beauty. From one app, we jump to the another app and we also passed data. So that's that's something which is very easy to do in um, fury elements 
here also we have this uh, navigation to the next screen and also we can go back and then jump back to the main page or the overview page from which we jump to the list report so it's like two-way communication so we are back to the overview page you will find this cross app navigations and jumping around of app within the group or within the catalog very interesting and we will show you how we can achieve it very easily this was just a simple demo we will learn the a to z of all the ui annotations filters selection screens cards charts graphs tolerance data points deviations and whatnot fury apps based out of cds not only have the ui annotations but there are many many more concepts which we need to understand and apply in this training we will learn all the secrets of the trade thank you very much for watching this video hope to see you live on the training day have a safe and healthy time ahead take care thank you so much